So how do you unit test C code? Can you unit test C code? In this video, we will unit test some C code, first of all, with gtest, Google Test Framework, and use LCOV and GenHTML to generate an HTML report of the code coverage by our tests. So let's get right into a demonstration. If we go into the Docker image for page key operating system by doing script slash Docker shell, then we can run dot slash script slash test unit and it will generate all of our coverage data. We can also, if we're just running tests, do no cov dot slash test unit and we just get the pass, right? But uh, if we actually do the whole thing, it generates quite a few files with coverage information and the public directory, which contains our website that we can view. So if we view that website in Python uh, using the simple HTTP ser uh, server, refresh this guy, and we have our coverage. And you can get right into which lines are covered and which ones aren't. And that's all we need. I'll note that this is also in CICD. So the unit tests will fail CICD if there are any test failures. And the LCOV website is an output of our CICD job. So you just go into the public folder of the artifacts, click on index.html, and you get the same thing there. So how do we accomplish this? Um, I had to do a little bit of research. It seems like there's really nothing super straightforward about like PyTest, right? You, you just run PyTest and you're good to go. There's a little bit more setup required to do this with C or C++. And I watched a number of videos and took some notes on the issue. So you can go to page key tech PCOS issue number four, if you want to check this out. But, um, I had to watch a bunch of YouTube videos and basically this little hello world example from one of the videos ended up helping a lot. Um, and it showed how to compile and link and all of that stuff. And we had to, you know, install a couple packages since we're on Ubuntu to get the G test headers and include files or you know whatever the binaries or I, I don't know I'm not a big C C++ guy but I'm learning uh, so that's about it so if we check out this merge request let's see what kind of changes we have uh, first of all I just moved the requirements to the top level because it was too complicated having it nested down in the integration directory also I renamed the test the uh, QEMU tests from the previous video into the test integration folder and created a new test unit folder to hold all of our unit tests and updated a few things in the readme, no big deal there, updated the pip stuff. The two packages that we added to our build environment in Ubuntu in the Docker file is lcov and libgtestdev. So this is obviously the gtest or Google test framework library that we need on our system to use gtest for unit tests and lcov to generate coverage data and HTML websites. And then we updated the CICD job um, the old one I renamed to test integration, added a new test unit job, and all that it does is execute the test unit script, which we'll see in a second, and provide the LCOV output as an artifact. Added some get ignore files, nothing huge there. So here are the two unit tests. They're very simple. There's just this main runner, which should work for every project, where you just need one file that is your main suite, your, your test runner, right? And I guess it's, you know, Google test takes care of pretty much all of it. And then as long as you compile the other C++ files, it will find these macros and run the tests. So I added test standard lib and we only have one method in that class and it is string equal. And I just asserted, you know, equal strings should be equal, non-equal strings should not be equal. And it worked. There were huge problems trying to test any other parts of this code base. We'll talk about that soon, but I wrote a follow on issue about how we need a better build system with this operating system. So very little uh, actual changing the operating system code, right? Like there's a lot of environment setup that we're doing in these videos. Um, hopefully we'll get back to actually implementing stuff soon. The meat of the issue here is this test unit script and we do set dash E, which is a bash command saying that if we encounter an error anywhere in the script, just exit at that moment with a bad exit code because that, that's what we want. If, if anything in the here fails, we want to fail the CICD job and stop what we're doing. So that's why that's there. Creates the build directory, CDs into it. And then here's part of the problem. We're running G++ directly 
And this is entirely separate from the make files that we have elsewhere, which are building the kernel and the ISO. So this is like a second build system right here, um, which is a problem. And I, that's why we'll get into the issue that I wrote up about that. But um, basically it compiles all of the unit test CPP files. And then in this case, just the common.c file. If you include the VGA.c, it includes the kernel and then it gets mad because there's more than one main method and has all kinds of errors because it's a different compiler. It's C++ instead of C. So it gets really messy, but at least common.c was very simple and good enough for this issue to say, hey, we ran some unit tests, one, maybe, I guess two tests, but <laughs> it's better than nothing and figured out how to do this whole LCOV thing. So you just have to link the gtest library and the gtest main library. Pthread, honestly, I don't know what that does, so somebody else probably knows. Uh, and then these two produce the coverage data that we need for LCOV. Then you have to run your tests um, to generate the coverage data. I added the option to have no cov if you want to just run tests locally and you don't care about coverage. You're just going really quick, like test-driven development. Specify no cov on the command line, and you're good to go. In CI, though, it's going to keep going. It's going to use gcov to generate coverage data for all these files. Lcov is going to analyze that coverage data and produce it into a human readable output, I think. Um, I think that's what's going on. And then so this one is saying base directory and directory dot, uh, and I think this is for not coverage, uh, something, dash C is something, I forget. You gotta look it up. <laughs> Man page for LCOV, whatever. This is doing the main brunt of the work of processing those files. And then we have a second call to LCOV with dash R, which means remove. We're going into our original coverage info file and removing user slash include because it was including coverage data for gtest, which we don't want. And also it was including coverage data for our test code, which we also don't want. That's like too many abstractions. We're not testing our test code for coverage. <laughs> and then it just uh, outputs the same file. So this is just like a filtering call. And then we generate the HTML and it goes to the public directory, cd dot dot, we're done. So this might not be the most beautiful way in the world to do C unit testing with LCOV and gtest, but it works. And I wanted to take a second to document it. So there you go. Now, what is this follow-on issue I keep talking about? Um, it turns out, so I mentioned how there's two build systems right now, and it's getting really messy and hard to deal with and not modular at all. I wrote this improved build system thing up. I think that's going to be the next thing that I tackle. And I know that there are plenty of ways to do that. There, there are so, so, so many ways to do this in C, C++, right? I don't understand any of them. <laughs> I have to go figure out one of them or do it myself. I'm really tempted to do it myself. I know that's probably going to make Ah, will it make anyone mad? I don't know. I don't think anyone cares. Uh, is it the right way to do it? Probably not, but I might just write my own build system because make files, it, it's like, I, I can't figure out. <laughs> it's so much effort to figure out how to do things that I want to do. I just want imperative programming. If this, then that. Let me just write the logic myself about how to form these commands. I, it's probably a lot more efficient for large projects, but this is also kind of an edge case in that we're building a bare metal system. So we can't really, I was very tempted to go for auto make or C make, right? Because those are very commonly used for very large projects and they take care of a lot of details for you. They have packages to include and whatnot. But then I was thinking how we don't have a standard library that we're building on. We're building on bare metal, just running our code. And I don't want to accidentally pull in code from the system that I'm building on because this is supposed to be entirely independent. So do I go with a brand new build system that I don't understand and try to do an edge case like that? Or do I just figure out how to write the very specific compiler commands that I need in an efficient way, in an automated way? So heavily leaning towards that, but either way, that's probably what I'm going to tackle next because it's getting really hard to do anything, especially write unit tests and modular code within this operating system with the current build system. So maybe that's just way too high expectations for this project, but uh, I would like it to be a little bit better. So I think that's my next move. Either way, hope you learned something or maybe you can teach me something if you know more about this than I do. Leave a comment. PageKey operating systems is open. Uh, along with anything else in the PageKey Tech group on GitLab. So please write an issue if you use something on here, which I kind of doubt, except maybe this one. Uh, write an issue for it and we'll talk about it. We'll try to fix it. If you want to add a feature to something like PageKey Operating System, write an issue, start a merge request, go for it. And I would be so ecstatic if you wrote a merge request 
and we could review it together on video if you want if you're not comfortable with that it's fine but let's hey contribute and we'll talk about it and why not right i don't know i'm just throwing it out there but i think that's it yeah that's pretty much it if you want to discuss this or you want some help with programming or something like that join the page key tech discord and we can talk on there GitLab can be a little intimidating if you've never used it before, but Discord should be very approachable. So that's another forum for talking, discussing about tech. Either way, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Moment of truth. Once again, here we go. Approve and merge. It's in there. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, consider subscribing, liking, and joining the PageKey Tech Discord.